Explore 11 impressive effects in CapCut to instantly enhance your videos. Isolate only one color. First, I added video on the timeline. Go to Adjustment and then go to HSL. Let's say I want to highlight the red, so we won't change anything on red. For all other colors, I set Saturation to zero. After turning off all the other colors, I return to red and add a little saturation so that the red color has better contrast and stands out more. How to pin text to track object movement. First, I added video on the timeline. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write any text you want in the black box. Right below it, you can choose a font. A little lower, we will add a text border and then choose a color. Now, set the position and size of the text as you wish. Now go to Tracking and click at Motion Tracking. Place the object that you want the text to follow in the yellow creature. Click Start, wait until CapCut processes it, and you're done. Now how to create highlighted text. Add picture or video to the timeline. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write two times underscore in the black box. Now change the color to whatever you want. I'll choose yellow. Scroll down a bit until you see uniform scale and turn it off. Now move the yellow line to the text you want to highlight and set the height to cover the entire text and then the width. Now go to animation and find wipe right, set the duration to around one second, so it's not too fast. If you want to highlight other lines, hold Alt and drag the highlight to a new line. Leave a little space at the beginning and drag a new yellow line to a new line of text. You can repeat this until you have highlighted everything you need. Now align everything at the end. Now surround the text and right click on it and select the option Create Compound Clip. Go to Blend and Change Mode at Multiply, and you're done. Easy way how to blur face. First, I added videos on the timeline. Click on the Effects section next, Body Effects. Go to the Mask section here, or write in search engine Face Mosaic. Drag it to the timeline and spread it across videos when you want to apply a blur effect to faces, and you're done. If you want to adjust the effect a little, you can change range and size. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, in the description is link for another tutorial, How to Blur Face, Multiple Split Screen. I dragged three videos to my timeline. Click on the top video and go through the mask section. Select the mirror option. Set an angle of approximately 70. Adjust the mask as you like the most. Choose the middle video and select the horizontal mask. Now fine tune the video a little so that it fits you as best as possible and you're done. How to blur background. First we add the video to our timeline and copy it using Alt and drag it above the first video. Now left click on the upper video and next to basic, you have the cutout option, click on it. At the very bottom is the auto cutout checkbox, check it and wait for it to process. Now left click on the bottom video and we will apply blur effect on it. Go up to effects, click on trending and find the blur effect. Drag it to the bottom video and you're done. But let's say that this blurring effect is too strong for you. How to reduce it? Right click on the bottom video and select edit effects. On the right side, this table pops up where you can adjust the intensity of your blur effect in CapCut. Magnify effect to attract attention. First, I added the video to our timeline. Click on the video on the timeline and press Ctrl plus C and then Ctrl plus V. Click on the video above Go to the mask section and select rectangle. Now fit it to the part of the video where you want to do magnify effect. We can hide the bottom video so that we can better see the mask we are making. Use the same button to call up the bottom video again. Move to the timeline where you want your effect to start. Click on the video above and go to basic. Now tick scale and position. Move to the timeline where you want your effect to end. I move 10 frames. Adjust the scale and position options so that the clip fits as you wish. 
Now return the clip to its original size. Create a new keyframe where you want the clip to start returning to its original form. Now you can copy the first keyframe by clicking on it and pressing Ctrl plus C and add it to the end of the video with Ctrl plus V so the video returns to the original value set in this keyframe. To make it a bit better, let's reduce the opacity of the bottom video. In the top video, position yourself to the first keyframe, then click on the bottom video and check opacity. Then click on the top video and go to the second keyframe. Then click on the bottom video and set opacity to 35%. Don't forget to set the opacity to normal in the part where you return the video to its original form in the same way as here. Smooth slow motion. In the middle, you see the classic lagging slow motion video, and on the right, you see the modified smooth version. Click on the video on the timeline and go to the speed section. Slow down the video as much as you want. You can notice a new option that appeared, smooth slow motion. Turn it on and go to the options. Frame blending is a bit faster, but of lower quality. Optical flow takes longer to process, but the video looks better. Choose one option, and then you just have to wait for the video to be processed. If these percentages disappear, the video is finished. Floating effect. First, add some background and image that you want to make floating effect. On the timeline, click on the picture where you want the floating effect and go to the animation section. Select slide up and set it to 0.7 seconds. Then go to effects and go to the nightclub section. Select the play pendulum effect and drag it onto the image. You may find that your image suddenly looks a little weird. Reduce the sharpen and twist values and the image will look normal again. Strength will determine how much your image will shake. If the window for editing the effect has closed and you want to open it again, right click on the image and select edit effects. How to change color of objects. First I added video on the timeline. Go to adjustment and set saturation to zero. Now we need a new color for our car. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write hyphen, drag it by the corner and enlarge it. Next, increase the font size until the white color covers the entire screen. Now we will choose what color our car will be. Let's say I want it to be blue, so I will choose blue. In next step, we need to convert the blue layer from text to image. Click here and select export still frames. Choose where you want to export the image and write a name for it. Then click export. Delete the blue text layer. Now click on import and you should have the imported image you created there. If you don't have it there, drag it there from the folder where you saved it. Add it to the timeline and stretch it over the entire video where you want to change the color. Click on video and then expand the blend option. Set the mode to overlay. Now re-add the original video without changes. Go to remove BG, then check chroma key Click Color Picker and select the red color on the car. We can see that we have some red spots left here, so to get rid of them, we will increase the intensity. The car already looks better, but in the video, we can notice places like the sidewalk or the block of flats that have turned blue, and I'll show you how to keep them in their original red color. Add another original video without changes. Go to Mask and choose Horizontal. Set it so that it ends just above the roof of the car you can see that the flats already have their original red color. If we want to remove the blue sidewalk as well, we will add another original video without changes. We will add a horizontal mask. Turn it the other way around and pull it just under the wheels. Let's say I want to adjust the shade of blue a little. Click on the blue background on the timeline, go to adjustment, and then go to HSL. Choose blue and change tint. In this way, you can change the colors on anything fade in and fade out effect. First, I added video on the timeline. Click on the blend section. Add a keyframe to the beginning of the video and set the opacity to zero. Then move forward a bit on the timeline and set the opacity to 100 and you've created a fade in effect. Now set somewhere before the end of the video and add another opacity keyframe. Then go to the end of the video and set the opacity to zero to create a fade out effect. I will show you how to use this effect on text as well. 
click on the text section, then on plus, which will add text to the timeline. First of all, set the present style according to what you like the most. Personally, I prefer this distinctive yellow the most. Then scroll a little lower and you will find the blend section. Use exactly the same procedure as for the video. Add an opacity keyframe with zero opacity jump forward on the timeline and set the opacity to 100% and you have a fade in effect on the text. If you wanna make a fade out effect, you will have 100% opacity on the first keyframe and 0% on the second. Thanks for watching, I hope I helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Have a nice day.